It was a culture shock coming from uh, Hampton, Virginia, coming up to Lexington, Virginia, and then, you know, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains, walking into the barracks, you know, and barracks looking like almost kind of like a prison, you know, and it's kind of like, what in the world did I get myself into? Come matriculation day, I was in, I was committed. Um, there was there was no turning back and quitting was not an option. I was intense, but you know, it was just like, all right, play the game. This is a game. They're gonna mess with your mind, they're gonna say things, they're gonna do things that are gonna try to get to you and you just gotta play the game. I always knew military is what I wanted to do, but didn't have the understanding of that type of experience. At the end of the day, right, VMI offered everything from the honor system to the leadership to the challenge that you would get. That's what appealed to me, and I knew that I wanted a challenge. The academic side of it was definitely, uh, it was tough, it was challenging. I started off mechanical engineer uh, major, then I went to civil engineering, and then I was like, all right, international studies, and I was like, that ain't it either. So I ended up, you know, being a history uh, major, which is, I think, originally where I was supposed to be, where I wanted to be, at, you know, tutors to, to help me through and to, you know, kind of, you know, help me with all, my, you know, different classes and stuff that I struggled with. It wasn't like, you know, all roses and, you know, everything else. It was hard, you know, it was it was brutal in some, some sense, but I am so grateful uh, for the opportunities that I had when I was here. So I worked at uh, VMI as an assistant commandant for cadet life. I came in October of 2006, so literally almost a year after um, I graduated to October 2017, uh, 11 years, I gave everything that I could uh, to, to the cadets. It was a complete just honor uh, just to be able to, to do that. I saw it as an opportunity. I wanna make sure that they know that I am invested in them and invested in their future and their success. Um, and not just that, but just them as a person. And man, some of the ones that like seriously like struggled. And I'll tell you that those are the ones that I'm the most proud of because they made it. And, and I'll tell them when they cross the stage, you made it. Like I, there were some moments where I didn't think you were, but you made it. And, and just pouring into them and making sure that they had what they need to, to be successful. It's just something different, right, um, about a VMI woman or man who has gone through this place, who has, has learned so much and taken that experience and now putting it out into the civilian world, the military world, like there is just something different about it. The faculty and staff, they, they take care of you. They really want you to succeed. It doesn't matter if it is the commandant or the commandant staff, one of the professors or whoever, um, they want you to succeed. And I think that that is the beauty of this place. Like the, the care, um, I think everybody's here because they, they care. I have a little daughter now. And so my, my hope is that one day she'll say, hey dad, you know what? I think I wanna, I think I wanna do this. I think I wanna go try VMI. I am glad I went to VMI. I could not imagine what I would be if I hadn't gone here.